What's up, fam? This your boy, Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you, Negroes, today. Now, we all heard about Lil Dirk being arrested for murder for hire along with five other OTF members. And the moment the news hit the internet, two groups of people formed. The first group of people is the people who feel validated. It's the bloggers, it's the fans, it's all the people who kept telling people Lil Durk is going down. The Rico is coming for Lil Durk. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it wasn't hard to tell. If you look at Lil Durk's situation, everybody around him kept doing stupid stuff. Everybody around him kept going to jail. So we all part of the streets, we know how it go. Ain't no way you could be hanging around criminals, killers, thugs, and in the end, you come out clean. So I know Lil Durk downfall is near, and that's why I was telling you guys, he's going down. I kept telling you guys, he's going to jail. He gonna get hit with those fan charges. And everybody kept saying, cut, you hate him. Cut, you don't wanna see a young brother shine. Cut, why you coming at Lil Durk like that? It's not that I wanted him to go to jail. I just can't play stupid. I'm just looking at the optics. And now the time has finally come and people still can't accept it. Cause I'm gonna tell you about the second group of people. Now that he's been arrested, it's a group of people who's in denial about how much trouble he in. It's some people saying, oh, y'all just hate no dirt. Dirt gonna beat the charges. I still don't think they got enough evidence against Lil Dirk, I read the indictment. Are you stupid as hell? These are the feds. This ain't Memphis Police Department. This ain't Chicago Police Department. These are federal agents. We all read the indictment. His crew is turning on him. Everybody's trying to take a plea deal. Everybody's looking out for self, and I'ma tell you why. When you're in the free realm, when you got your homies with you, y'all are a gang. Y'all are doing this, y'all are doing that. It's easy to go along with it. It's easy to get caught up in the mix. It's easy to holler about I'm a real dude. Oh, I'm a real street dude. I'm down for the cause. But it's that moment when you go to jail. You sitting in that little ass cell with that big ass dude named Bubba. He's staring at you. He asking you, do you want your food? You going through that every day. Your family is calling you. They saying, hey, you need to tell what you know. Your daughter is missing you. Your mama is missing you. Your granny is on the phone urging you to tell. Both street dudes gonna fold. Ain't nobody thinking about the street code when they in jail. Civilians believe in the street code. Civilians believe in no snitching. But ask any real street dude. They know snitching comes with it. They know the dudes they running with. They know if anybody get caught, the first thing somebody's gonna do is make a deal to try to get them out of the situation. The streets knows that. So when I look at Lil Durk's situation, I'm reading the indictment. I'm reading that some of his own men flipped on him. I wasn't surprised, but I was surprised about how, how deep the rabbit hole go. Cause you read the indictment. If you read what the police is saying, they said they got witnesses that participated in the crime turning against Lil Durk. They said Lil Durk wanted revenge on Juan Dorado for the murder of King Von. Lil Durk put out a bounty on him. They all flew to Chicago. Lil Durk hopped on a private jet and flew to uh, LA as well. And I'm looking at this evidence. I'm like, this is overwhelming. Durk, I get you want to revenge on Juan Dorado. I get he took out King Von. But you should have been nowhere in the mix. You should have told you guys, hey, I'm out of it. I'm big dog. Y'all know what to do. You want, if you want that get back, y'all get get back. I don't want my name anywhere involved in it. I don't want to talk to you guys about it. Y'all know what we signed up for. Get it, get it how you get it. And left it alone. But you all on text messages. You flying with one of the co-conspirators. So I'm like, man, it's over with. And now people are saying that little Dirt was caught on wiretap trying to kill witnesses. Cause we all know how street dudes do. We all know how criminals react. They'll be doing crime. And the moment they hear that the feds is on their case, the first thing they gonna try to do is get rid of witnesses. They gonna try to find out who's telling and they gonna try to make them disappear. Sometimes they are for money or sometimes they just play the 
straight up whack them. And that's what people is alleging that Lil Durk is doing. That we all heard about his right hand man, OTF Jam. Did 12 years in the pen. Got out the jail. Lil Durk gave him 50 bands. Bought him a car. Bought him a house. And now we are hearing that he's one of the people cooperating against Lil Durk. We hear he wore a wire. We hear he's selling every goddamn thing in jail. That's the reason why Lil Durk is finna get put away for the rest of his life. And now we also found out that Lil Durk wasn't oblivious to what was going on. See, a lot of people think that Lil Durk was just so surprised that they picked him up. But according to some people, they said Lil Durk knew what was going on. Think about it, Lil Durk got high power lawyers. He always with Karen Silver. He got attorneys. And their job is to let him know what's coming down the pipeline. So I believe they probably told Lil Durk, hey man, we getting word that you being investigated for Quando Rondo on homie Lil Pop Def. And that's when Lil Durk probably panicked. Cause now people are saying that Lil Durk found out that OTM Jam was cooperating with the police and um, Lil Durk got his baby mama whacked to send a message. Allegedly, that's what they said. Cause we all heard about that Chicago male lady who was shot eight times and killed and it looked like it was in a targeted attack. We all heard that story. But let me let me let me educate you guys on that story a little bit. Let me show you guys this. Boom! Read this. It says the feds believe Lil Dirk paid to get these two people killed. One, Stefan Mack, who killed Lil Dirk, brother D thing. And let's be clear on that. If you listen to Lil Dirk lyrics, if you listen to Lil Dirk interviews, he makes it clear. Everybody that he lost, he avenged their death. He'll tell you he got to get back for his brother D-Thang murder. He always mentioned that. My brother D-Thang died. If you was there, you died too. You know, he always say stuff like that. So that wasn't very surprising. They are alleging that Lil Dirk killed Stefan Mack to avenge his brother D-Thang murder. Let's go to the second person. OTF Jam baby mom was killed because Lil Dirk found out he, he wore a wire around them. Feds think OTF Jam is the key to putting Lil Durk in jail for all three bodies. And like I always say, for all you guys hopeful that Lil Durk is going to get out, for all you guys hopeful that Lil Durk is going to beat the case, I don't think Quando Rondo cousin Lil Pop is going to be the only body. I think the feds are going to be able to connect more bodies to Lil Durk. You got five co-defendants. It ain't one or two, it's five. So I'm not expecting all five people to keep it solid. That's why I tell street dudes, less is more. If you're going to do a crime, if you're going to do something that can possibly get you seriously in trouble, less people is more. You don't need five, six, seven people. That just means there's more potential rats. That's all I'm saying. But I'm going to read this article about the Chicago male lady that people are saying as OTF Jam baby mom. I haven't confirmed it yet, but that's what people are saying. That was his baby mama who got whacked. So I'm going to read you guys this article, and we're going to try to piece together everything. Let's go. Boom. All right, here we go. This is supposedly been um, OTF Jam, baby mom. Let's read the article. Octavia Redmond murder. Vehicle believed to be used in Chicago mail courier shooting death found torched. Okay, let's continue reading. So they torched the vehicle. The white Dodge Durango was located this afternoon in the 800 block of South Holland Road. On Friday about 11.38 a.m., the 48-year-old female mail carrier was shot in front of a resident in the 20. 100 block of South Harbor when an unknown male offender approached her, police said. The offender produced a firearm and fired multiple shots at the victim before fleeing in the vehicle on 121st Street. The letter carrier identified by the Cook County Medical Examiner as Octavia Red in Chicago was shot multiple times in the body and transported to Christ Hospital where she was pronounced dead. Chicago police are looking into the possibility that Red was targeted. Of course she was targeted! That was a targeted it. They, the offender didn't take anything. No words was exchanged. It like he was there to do one job, and that was the killer, and that's exactly what he did. 
So let's continue reading. A neighbor that didn't want to be identified said Redmond had just delivered mail to her home. Second later, the neighbor heard at least eight gunshots. I came to the living room and looked out the window. That's when I saw her laying on the ground. I'm like, that's the postal worker, the neighbor said. Sources told Fox 32 the killer followed Redmond, shot her multiple times, and her body was found in front of the home, with her possessions still present. Sources said the incident appears targeted and was not a robbery. The murder of the beloved wife, mother, and extraordinary cook comes after other attacks on postal workers locally and nationally. Detectives are looking at Redman's affiliations and combing through various ring doorbell footage from the scene. I had the opportunity to meet with her and talk to her. She's a great co-worker, said Elise Foster, the branch 11 president of the National Letter Carriers Association, in a social media post. Sister Redman would not be going home to her family, and I have a problem with that. So you, you hear that? A male lady was targeted. Somebody ran up on her. Hit her eight times with the strap. Didn't take no purse. Didn't take no money. And just fled the scene. And now Chicago police said it was a targeted attack. Now a male postal worker is a government employee. So they take that situation very serious. Because now you're going to have people scared to deliver mail. And many people are trying to connect that to Lil Durk. That's why I think Lil Durk is in trouble. That's exactly why. Everything is crumbling around them. Everybody can say, if your man did this, you're responsible for it. And that's the problem with Lil Dirt. And I'm going to say this about Lil Dirt. Yes, you're successful. Yes, you made $50 million. That wasn't enough to you just to throw these knuckleheads away. See, I know a lot of people want to remain cool. A lot of people want to stick to the code of the streets. A lot of people want to keep the same friends once they move up. But sometimes you just can't do that. If your friends are stuck on the street life, if your friends is still game banging, you winning Grammys, you got the fans, you got to separate yourself. Yes, they're going to be mad. Yes, they're going to hop on social media calling you fake. But that's just something you got to deal with. You got seven kids, a beautiful fiance. I'm not trying to avenge no death for King Von. And if you talking about getting revenge for King Von, if I'm a little dirt, I'm cutting you off right then and there. I'm like, wait, hold up. No, I'm good on that, bro. You still on that foolish shit. That's sometimes you got to tell somebody, man. Don't even entertain it. And I think that's a little dirt problem. I'm not saying he's guilty of it. But I'm saying it probably was talks and conversations about getting revenge for King Von and Lil Dirk didn't stop it. So you got to know how the streets work. We are a crew. We OTF. King Von was rolling with us. Quando Rondo homie Lil Tim took him out. I'm mad at it. The homies is mad at it. But I'm not willing to go that far with it. Yes, we have a common enemy, but we want the ending to be different. So Lil Durk might have been mad. Lil Durk might have wanted revenge for King Von, but that's when he should have totally separated himself. Once people start talking about foolish stuff, once people start hatching up plans, Lil Durk should have been like, I ain't with that. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. I know it's hard, but it ain't that damn hard. 50 million reasons why. That's all I'm saying. So. It's crazy, man. I don't think Lil Durk is going to beat this, man. I think Lil Durk is not going to even do 30 years. I think he's going to get life in prison. I think he's going to get found guilty. He's going to be an open and shut case. Y'all thought the Young Dog trial was fast. Y'all thought Cornelia Smith taking a stand, telling what happened. I think Lil Durk trial going to end the same way. I think it's going to be somebody the first day of the opening statements, somebody going to drop the bombshell and tell everything. We just don't know who it is yet. Some people say it's OTF Jam. Some people are implicating Brick Baby in it. Some people think he co-conspirator for. People is accusing Brick Baby of dropping a location. Brick Baby did go on No Jumper and say, y'all can't say no get back for um, King Von. Y'all can't really tell Dirt to um, slide for King Von. Everybody like, what you talking about? He was like, Lil Fob, look what happened to him. Dirt got his get back. He went on there and said that. So something tells me that Brick Baby been knowing what's going on. This is not nothing new to Brick Baby. Brick Baby knew exactly what happened. Because at first we all thought it was like a marijuana deal going bad. We was like he was in L.A. He was messing with the wrong people. We thought Quando Rondo got back door. We didn't put two and two together that Lil Dirk was behind that. Yeah, they had me, but we didn't think Lil Dirk was that stupid to, to send some men to hop on a plane to take him out. In L.A.? 
You really think LAPD was gonna let y'all get away with that? Some of the best detectives. This ain't Chicago. This ain't Atlanta. This is LAPD. You should have known they were gonna be pulling up plane transcripts. They gonna be pulling up phone records. Little Dirk should have known that. Why would you send five dudes associated with OTF way to LA to do that? Allegedly. So it was just, it just wasn't a smart move. And I know Lil Dirt regret it. Everybody like, do you think Lil Dirt regret it? Hell yeah, he regret that. He don't think Lil Power was worth it. And matter of fact, you sent them there, they ain't get the right guy. So now you finna do life in prison because they got the wrong dude? Hell yeah, Lil Dirt regret that. I regret it too. All that stay strong, keep your head up. Yeah, you gonna try to, but at night when you lay that head down, oh, you gonna be weeping. Uh, you gonna have to get consoled by Joe Selly, for real. Fifty million dollars ain't like you was. It ain't like you was a dude that come from nothing. A dude that come from nothing, poor, living on the street, just trying to rob people. He get that long jail sentence. It might be no big thing to him, but you gonna do who's living that life, having the fans, winning Grammys, finna blow up to the ne another level, and for you to go out like this, for it to end that way, is very sad, man. And that's how I just feel about it. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts about this whole situation. I want to know how you guys feel about it. Do you think it's the end for Lil Durk? Or do you one of those people who think Lil Durk is somehow going to find a way out of this situation? I don't. You got witnesses. You got people in your own crew turning against you. Everybody saying Lil Durk take a plea deal. I don't even think he can do that. Why, the, why would the feds offer Lil Durk a plea deal? You got witnesses turning against Lil Durk. You got all the evidence. Why not throw the book at Lil Durk? Because the prosecutor, the person that tried this case, this is a big profile case. They finna make a name for themselves. Oh, they finna, they finna show out. They finna show their ass. I'm just being honest with you. So ain't no way they finna get a little dirt complete deal. It doesn't make sense for nobody. But anyway, guys, share this video. Leave a comment. I love you guys. Peace.